Juan Guaido has called for more protests today while President Maduro continues to dig into his claims that the U.S. is planning a coup. So joining us on the telephone from Caracas is New York Times reporter Virginia Lopez Glass. Uh, Virginia, uh, we spoke to you just a day ago or so uh, about what was happening on the ground. What is the latest that you've seen subsequent to that? Uh, well, yesterday there was a huge rally for the May Day celebration, uh, and basically what we say was a group of very defiant uh, government critics taking to the streets to continue to protest the Maduro uh, government and to show their support of, uh, to Guaido. Uh, later in that evening, uh, Maduro took to the airwaves to, again, you know, repeat some of the claims that he had said on the previous day, that this attempted coup had been quashed, that he was in full control, and that the full weight of the law would fall on those who had uh, gone against the government. This would include both the opposition leaders and also the military defectors that, you know, are seen to have betrayed uh, his government. So Juan Guaido has been, you know, attempting to encourage members of the army, the military, to back him uh, instead of Nicolas Maduro. How is that going for him? On the first day, it looked like he only had a small group of supporters from the military. Um, yes, that continues to be the case. We didn't see uh, any, um, you know, massive defections or resignations uh, or from the military. In fact, we kind of saw the opposite. We saw the Ministry of Defense surrounded by the top brass uh, and again reiterating the support to President Maduro. Uh, Guaido, again, like I said, remains defiant. He was on the street yesterday uh, speaking to his supporters. We don't know his whereabouts. He's probably gone into hiding uh, and will continue to make these sporadic appearances. But, you know, he's, he's under a lot of pressure and under the threat of being incarcerated by, by the Maduro government. Uh, how, how important is the military support to whoever is holding power? It's crucial. I think, um, you know, it's, uh, it wouldn't be shy away from saying that the, the way that this uh, develops depends entirely on them. It was quite telling yesterday you, uh, what we saw on television. On one hand, there was Guaido surrounded by civilians, by the people in the streets showing their support. And uh, a couple of hours later, we saw Maduro surrounded by the military. So I think, you know, that's a pretty sort of uh, emblematic image of, of where the country stands. I, I think it's fair to say, and most polls uh, corroborate this, that, you know, the, the vast majority of people here disagree with the way Maduro has managed the country. He doesn't have popular support, but he does have the support of the armed forces. And, and thus, he successfully managed to cling to power. So where do we go from here moving forward? You know, when you see protests like this, either they grow or they are stomped out, often violently. What is going to happen to the people of Venezuela? Well, it's unclear whether the street protests as such will continue. Uh, but what you have to understand is that Venezuela continues to be, uh, you know, admired by an economic crisis like nothing we've ever seen. Uh, so that this content is going to only deepen. Uh, so you know, if it isn't organized street rallies, it will probably be smaller, spontaneous outbursts of anger because the country is, you know, is living without any food, at times even without electricity. Certainly, you know, shortages of water have become a common occurrence. So, you know, although the street protest might not be a daily occurrence like they were two years ago, the discontent is there. Uh, there's also a great fear of repression, which I think keeps a lot of people from taking to the streets. Mm. Uh, all right, uh, Virginia, we'll check in with you uh, throughout the course of uh, this week to figure out what exactly is going on there. But thank you for your reporting. Sure. Thank you for having me on.